I'm feeling really proud of myself for getting every element completed. I'm remaining hopeful because I really want to stay. But as I put it down in front of the judges, I noticed that my granita is already starting to melt and it shouldn't be. Come on, Samira, quick up. It's very nerve wracking at this moment. I'm really trying to rush through things. I'm going through my checklist. Somehow, miraculously, I've managed to get every element done. I put my twills in a container on my bench. Wow, that's so delicate. I'm so proud of you. You look like you were going to give up. We don't give up, do we, Kristen? Nope. Make sure everything is where it's supposed to be. Bench, freezer, fridge. Final checks, one minute to go! Come on, guys. Yum. I'm really happy with all my elements and how they taste, but it all comes down to the plating. Have you started checking off that checklist? Uh, yep. At the end of the cook, we've only got 10 minutes to plate our three snow eggs. Grab a puree covered in a bowl. So I'm just going through my checklist now to make sure that I have everything before I have to plate up. Guys, I hate to say it. 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Come on. Come on. Vanilla cream, yes. Meringue domes. Yes. Chew in airtight container on bench. Yes. Granita in tray in freezer. Yes. Guava. Done. Done. <laughs> Come on, Ben. Move it. Move it. Move it. There's not much time left on the clock. I pull my second lot of twills out of the oven, and I am so stoked. Come on, Ben. I'm really happy with the thickness and the tough bit now is going to be assembling. It's time. Ten seconds to go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Step away from the bench. Well done, guys. Great job. I'm gone. Um, <laughs> That was definitely the most intense cook I've had in this kitchen. Um, I've fought as hard as I can to stay in the comp today. I've tasted everything, I've tried to match it as close to Peter's as possible. I just hope that I've balanced the flavours beautifully and that all the elements are on the plate and that it looks beautiful. Uh, I definitely gave today my all. I've made all the elements and I'm really happy with that, but um, to get the plating done right is going to be the next step. What a challenge. I mean, six of our amazing contestants all battling it out to stay alive with the snow egg. It's nice to give it a really good send off. Mm. Shall okay. we go and kick off the first uh, contestant? Yeah, let's do it, George. Okay. I'm nervous. You can do it. I worked so hard during that cook that it can all fall apart plating up. Go, Jesse. I really need to stay focused and present this beautifully. Ten minutes starts now, yeah? You've got to go hard, Jess. Yeah. We haven't allowed you a lot of time to put it together. The first thing I have to do is finish off the guava full. I combine the vanilla cream with the guava puree and swirl it around to make a rippling effect. That's good. You're remembering your proportions. Excellent. Then I grate my granita until it's got that really fine shard. Five minutes to go, yeah? Yeah. Five minutes to nail it. To finish off the poached meringue, I scoop a little teaspoon up and then scoop a teaspoon of the custard apple ice cream into the centre of the poached meringue. Beautiful. Great, Jess. Now I have to put the maltose tool on top and melt it down. Come on, Jess, two minutes. That's it. That's it. Well done. Then the icing sugar on top as the snow. God, you get a job of key the way you're going there. <laughs> <laughs> nice, steady hands now. I've got butterflies in my stomach because it's such a small glass to put that really delicate snow egg in there. Beautiful, Jess. Yay, yeah, that's it. And you? I don't. Man, wow. Right, we'll see you in the tasting room. Thank you. 
Being a big fan of Peter Gilmore and serving his snow egg to him today is just a dream come true. I'm really happy with the flavors and the textures. I've got the creaminess from the guava fool, I've got the iciness of the granita, and that beautiful crispness of the Maltese twill. Oh, wow. Pete walks in today, you're excited, one of your idols. You've just cooked one of Peter Gilmore's signature dishes. It's crazy. As soon as they said your name, I was just in awe. I just, I love you so much, your work. And the snow egg was such an inspiration. When I was nine years old, I remember looking at the list of ingredients and I was like, nah, I'm no way going to try it. Nine years old? Yeah. That's amazing. And seeing you put them together and you kept so calm, you finished like a star. Ah, oh, thank you. Well done. Thank you. Right, out of here. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Spectacular. Absolutely. Perfect presentation. Let's see how it tastes. Oh. Good meringue. texture of the meringue spot on, ice cream spot on. The flavour's there. Overall, it's pretty hard to fault. That twill shroud, fantastic. Custard apple ice cream, brilliant. Jess has done an amazing job. Yeah. You know, this is a dish that we've made finalists do, that win Absolutely. this competition. Yeah. And here we are, six amateur cooks, and this one here is only 19 years of age. Wow. It's freak it's, life. It is, isn't it? Yeah, and that's super impressive. She's done really well. Shall we get the next one going? Let's do it. All right, Kristen, your 10 minutes starts now. All right, you got to push. Assembling this dish is just so intense. It's an insane time period for a really intricate dessert. There is not a second to lose. Come on, you need to be on the egg by now. So let's get that finished off and then on to blow torching. Two minutes to go, yeah? I'm trying to get my twills onto these snow eggs. Come on, not done yet. They're cracking all over the place. But I just have to go with it. You have to move now, yeah? Go, go, go. I have to keep going as quickly as I can to get it all done. 45 seconds. It's in. Okay, next one. This is definitely the hardest plate up I've ever done. 30 seconds. I'm shaking and I'm really worried I'm gonna drop one. Twenty seconds. Oh. Turning it up. Oh. oh, my God, that was close. I've managed to get all three of my snow eggs upright in the glass. I'm feeling really proud of myself for getting every element completed. I'm remaining hopeful because I really want to stay. But as I put it down in front of the judges, I noticed that my granita is already starting to melt, and it shouldn't be. Wow, that was an epic cook, yes? That was such an honour, getting to cook that. Very emotional. Yeah, I'm always worried that I haven't done enough. I'm a perfectionist. And I think what today has taught me is that I'm not perfect and I make mistakes and mistakes happen. Well, being emotional about something means you care about yeah. it. And that's a good thing. Yes, you made mistakes, but you bounce back. That's what life's about, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Well, we were to taste, guys, because the granita is melting away. Kristen, thank you so much. Thank you. The 
meringue is really good. It's the right consistency, the right shape for the snow egg, and, and that's a pretty important component of the dish. Ice cream works well in the middle, a nice thin feel. But there's a little bit of a problem with the cream. With the full... It's grainy, isn't it? It yeah, is grainy. grainy. Yeah. From the moment, it seems to split. This granita has melted so quickly. Yeah. Because it's sweet. It did melt quickly, and it has thrown the balance out a bit. The ratio might be wrong. She might have put too much sugar. So, because the granita melts, you lose that contrast between icy and creamy. The refreshing part which of is, it. Which, is, lose, which yeah. is essential. 